was the difference between this and this? Right, here we are again. Today we're going to do something a little bit basic. We're going to play with a simple punch. Everybody knows what a punch is, everybody has seen different kinds of punches. We're just going to play with some basics. So, a punch or a straight punch. We'll see a few of the basic mechanics, things like that. First thing with training any sort of punch is to be looking after your knuckles. Best thing to do is to have hand wraps or gloves, or even better, the combination of the two. Uh, and yeah, just to make sure that things like this, you know, knuckles do get conditioning after a while, but if you don't use gloves, specifically when you're just practicing your punching, then you shred your knuckles. And when it comes down to actually having to use your knuckles, you're going to have nothing but bloody stubs there. So having shredded knuckles isn't exactly practicality. It's not going to help you. I mean, it does help with bragging rights and, and freaking out the, uh, the neighbor's kid, but it's better to wear gloves. Now the basic of any martial art really, or any striking martial art, is being able to strike. Let's play a bit with the basic straight punch. And then we'll move on to a few variations. First up, I'm going to talk a bit about the basic mechanics of your body when you're throwing a punch, or to throw an effective sort of a punch. You can't just stand in a static position and just, you know, that's not going to work, it's not going to benefit. I could, I could hear the dummy here laughing at me when I was doing that. You're not going to get any sort of power out of that, and you'd be lucky if you don't throw yourself across the room. Throwing a punch, we want to stay as grounded as possible. First up, hands. We want our hands raised up. Obviously, protect the face. Now, in protecting the face, we don't want our hands to be too, too loose or even too hard. Loose hands means this. The hands are too rigid, well, you're not going to be able to fire off with the speed that you really want. With firing off at the speed that you want, your body has to be down low. The correct and most comfortable sort of stance for you, hopefully legs not too far apart and not too close. Just, just ground yourself a little bit. You don't want to be straight up with your knees straight. Bend your knees a little bit. Hands up. Your most dominant hand, say for instance if you're right-handed, will be the hand that is back. Be something along the lines of this. Again, elbows not out, elbows not in too far. Again, unless you're straight line punching, which we're not talking about right now. You know, whether it be that you want to have your arms out, playing with other styles, or um, however it is that you feel comfortable and whatever works for you. And depending what it is that you're doing. That structure with that shape that we've just played with, what's going to give us that good, that, that powerful feeling sort of a punch? That's going straight ahead, and that felt good. Now, what was the difference between this and this? And this. For one thing, my arm was completely extended. That's something that we don't want. We want a bit of bend in our elbow. That's giving that extra drive, that extra push. Now what's that other thing we're forgetting here? My footwork. If I'm standing up straight, I'm not getting any sort of power out of the ground or out of my body. Now, depending on the type of punching that you're doing, there are some punches where you are totally reliant on the power that you get from the ground. If it's a single line punch, I'm pushing up from my knees and from the ground. The more traditional type of punch, I'm using my hips, I'm using, uh, all right, we can compare that to baseball. Okay, with ourselves, let's just say this is a baseball. Now, baseball players, they're not exactly going to throw a ball like this. Doesn't work. And we know that's not how baseball players pitch a ball. What is it that they do? What do we observe from these athletes? In my, uh, my limited sort of knowledge, this is the way it is. My right foot had more or less come off the ground, or was very, very much on its toes. The rest of my body, sort of, mechanics of it were very similar. So, something like that. You get the point. 